everyone. Good morning, everyone. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody's doing really good. Um, it's really pretty outside today. Um, <clears throat> sun shining, colors are out. Let me open the door here and just give you a quick look around. See all the beautiful colors that are coming? This is in my backyard. So, my husband will be taking the awning down from his, or well, the canopy, whatever you want to call it, tarp, off his um, little area pretty soon because it's getting cold. Don't want it snowing. See those shells on the table, you guys? These are some shells my husband and I picked up in Maine at the ocean. Aren't those big? Anyway, I have a plan for those. You can take those and you can make soap dishes out of them. It's really cool. My husband got one um, a couple years ago or three years ago when we were in Florida and he still uses it in his bathroom. Anyway, I just come on to Yak. Um, I'm making some fat bombs today. Um, I'm using some cream cheese and butter. Four ounces of cream cheese, two tablespoons of butter. Uh, three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa. Two tablespoons of erythritol. A half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And... Uh, this is supposed to be a fourth a cup of pecans, but I'm using I doubled the pecans in it because pecans are real low in carbs. And I'm going to be putting that together. I'm letting it set for a little bit because my butter is still pretty hard and I don't want to melt it because I want this to be creamy. Anyway, I'll show you what those look like. And once I mix everything together, I'm going to use uh, spoon it out like in a tablespoon ball. And I'm going to roll it in coconut. Now, this is not my ideal. I got this recipe off of Dr. Berg's channel a long time ago. And I saved it in my library. I have cabbage out that I'm going to cut up and put in the steamer for lunch. I haven't ate anything yet. i just been puttering around the house. My husband's gone walking. I didn't choose to go with him because I'm just not into it today. And besides, we each need our quiet time. And this is my quiet time. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to sit down. And I'm going to talk to you guys for just a little bit. If my husband comes up, I'll have to cut everything short. So hold on. I'm going to turn you around. There we go. <laughs> hey. Um, I wanted to, a lot, I, I, this is just a, a chit chat video. Basically, that's all I'm doing is chit chatting. But while we are chit chatting, um, I wanted to, well, visiting, I'm visiting with my friends. Uh, I wanted to tell you guys, uh, give you guys a little update on my niece and my daughter. I've had different people ask me, uh, questions so I'm just going to do a small update because there's a lot going on right now. My niece just went through a round of radiation. She had to have her uh, expanders uh, removed. If you guys are new to my channel, my niece has been fighting breast cancer stage 4. And uh, she goes in and out of... It'll be active, and then it'll, they, they, they'll be able to get it inactive for a while. We're praying this that eventually it'll be gone. God's in control, and he's handling it. And my, my niece is a very strong young lady. I'm very proud of her. I'm very proud of the way she's handling everything because it's not easy when you have a uh, now six-year-old. The baby was five when this all started, and my mom was just getting really bad. So this has been going on for a couple of years because mom would be gone two years this October 24th, which is coming up. Her anniversary is coming up. And uh, my niece found out she had cancer, 
I think a couple of months before mom passed away. Anyway, she's been fighting it and she's been winning. But we know and she knows it's only through the grace of God above that, that she has been winning. My, my niece has been fighting one battle after the other since she was nine months old. And someday I might get into details on that if anybody is interested. But she's doing good. She had to have her expanders took out because uh, uh, she was going to get uh, implants so she could have breasts because she had to have both her breasts removed. And that's when they discovered she had more cancer and um, they had to remove those. So she's, she's got drain tubes in, which she will go back to Chicago. Uh, I think she told me on the 30th of this month to have those removed. But she's doing very well, and God's in control. Now, my daughter, Stacy, she's back in the hospital. They, uh, they have been thinking her liver failure was due to neuropathy and medications that she was having to take. And plus she's been having to eat a um, very strict gluten-free diet. And in the last couple of weeks, she started getting sick again, went to the doctor, uh, for her checkup, he did blood work. The blood work didn't come back good, but she had a cold, so he told her once she got over the cold and he wanted to take her off of her um, medication that she was on. And I can't, I can't think of the name of it at the moment. Maybe I'll think of it before I'm done. But anyway, she's been winging off her medication in the last couple of weeks. And then about a week ago, she started getting sick again, and she thought it was just, you know, come getting off of the medication. And yesterday, I mean, she got sick to her stomach off and on and was having um, problems eating. And then yesterday, she was sick to her stomach, and she took a shower trying to shake it off, and uh, she said she started throwing up. She threw up about four times and then she started, uh, she had blood. She was throwing up some blood. So she had to go to the emergency room uh, by ambulance and they admitted her. They are now running tests. They think it, all of these issues that she's having with her liver, her neuropathy, and everything they think and I don't know this is just what I know so far and I will keep you guys updated as I find out more but because y'all been asking questions I'm trying to uh, fill in those gaps a little bit because it's hard to text everything to each individual uh, they think it's her gallbladder that might be causing it. Now, if it's her gallbladder, she will have to have surgery to remove it before it does any more damage. Um, how much damage it's already done won't, won't be known until after it's removed and they see how she does. That's my assumption anyway. But I, we appreciate everybody that's been praying for her. We, we thank you so very much because God is in control of everything in our lives, whether we admit it or not, He is. Um, whether we wake up tomorrow, <laughs> that's in His control too. And so I'm very thankful for every day He gives me. I'm thankful for my children. And I'm just praying that, you know, if it's as simple as the gallbladder and they can remove it and she'll be okay, that'd be a blessing, really. Uh, so she's running tests. They're running. She's not running them. Doctors are running tests on her today. I'm waiting for her to call and tell me when she finds out more. So as I find out more, I'll let you guys know more. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here now because I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's just 
one of those things. It's part of life. Things happen. And uh, I do have swaps that I'm doing. And if you watch my channel and your swap is a little late, uh, I'm sorry. I will get them mailed out. But right now, I, I'm kind of busy with other stuff. But I do have them done. I do have them in envelopes. And I do have the addresses. I just got to find a minute and get to the post office, which I hope happens in the next day or so. If it doesn't happen before Monday, come Monday, everything will be in the mail. So, anyway, you guys, I'm going to get off of here. God bless each one of you. If you're new to my channel, you guys don't know how much I appreciate y'all. And for everyone that hits that like button and leaves me a comment, bless your heart. I love each one of you. And those that don't, I love you too. You, you know, I love getting comments. I love it when you guys hit the like button. If there's something you don't like, I would love it if you would just tell me. And then maybe it's something I can fix. Just don't be cruel. <laughs> don't be mean, you know. Um, I, I'm, I'm just a country girl. What you see on these videos is that's just me the way I talk that's me uh, if I don't pronounce words correct that's me if I don't spell something correct that's me <laughs> so like I said from the very first video what you see is what you get so anyway you guys God bless you thank you for each prayer that goes up for my niece and my daughter we appreciate it and I will catch you guys in the next video. God bless. Bye.